once upon a time, they said, people weren't born separate from each other. They were born entwined, kind of coupled with each other. So there were boys attached to boys, and there were girls attached to girls, and of course, boys and girls together. In a wonderfully intimate ball, and back then we had eight limbs, so four on top, four on the bottom. You didn't have to walk if you didn't want to. You could roll, and roll we did. We rolled backwards, and we rolled forwards, and she can that gave us a kind of courage. And that courage swelled to pride. And the pride became arrogance. And then we decided that we were greater than the gods, and we tried to roll up the heavens and take over heaven. And the gods' alarm struck back, and Zeus, in his fury, hurled down lightning bolts and struck everyone in two in the perfect house. So all of a sudden, couples who've been warm and tight and clutched together were now detached and alone, lost, and desperate, and losing the will to live. And the gods, seeing what they've done, worried that humans might not want to uh, survive and multiply again. And of course, they needed humans to give sacrifice and pay attention to them. So the gods decided on a few changes. Instead of heads facing backwards or out, they would rotate our heads back forwards. They pulled our skin taut and knotted it right here at the belly button. Genitalia, too, was moved to the front, so if we wanted to, you know we could. <laughs> and most importantly, they left us with a memory. It was a longing for our original other half of ourselves. The boy or the girl who used to make us whole. And that longing is still so deep in all of us, men for men, women for women, men for women for each other, that has been a lot of humans ever since the traveled world looking for that other self. And when, says Aristophanes, when one of us meets another, we recognize each other right away. We just know this. We're lost in an amazement of love and friendship and intimacy. We won't get it out of each other's sight, even for a moment. These are people, he said, who spent their whole lives together, and yet if you asked them, they could not explain what they desired in each other. They just didn't.